What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I don't really have anything planned per se. Usually I have a fair idea of where I'm going to go with a video, but this is something that has just really irritated me today and I felt like I had to sit down and talk about it and address it. So for want of a better word, I want to talk about green shaming. That is the only way that I can describe this. And what I mean by it is the amount of people out there who feel like they have the right to comment on another person's journey, on another person asking a legitimate question about something related to climate change, climate action, the climate emergency, whatever you want to call it, and how they can make a difference as part of that, as we all are part of that. And I have seen this green bashing, this green shaming, this you're wrong and do it this way and do it that way in so many different places on social media in person at different events and it's really not okay and i find this in other areas of life as well so for example if you're not the perfect vegan if you're not the perfect vegetarian if you fall off the fitness bandwagon all of a sudden you are less than because you are not perfect if you can find the perfect person then please send me in their direction because i need to learn all about them and their perfect ways the reality is they don't exist and if the perfect person did exist then i feel like the world would be a very boring place we are all at different stages of our zero waste or eco-friendly journey whatever you want to call it i call it my zero waste journey and thankfully for me everybody on this channel has been so incredibly supportive so behind everything that i try and share because I think some people might forget that I am not out here to tell you what to do. I am simply here telling you what I do in my everyday life and what works for me and what I am learning. I am constantly learning, constantly saying, yes, I must share that on my channel so that more people can know about this and more people can learn about it. But I feel like not in the YouTube space necessarily, but in other aspects of social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever, there is a lot of negativity and a lot of shaming if you are not perfect and I just feel like it has to stop. If you are the perfect zero waster then you are dead and that is just the reality of it. If you are alive, if you are breathing air, if you are using electricity, if you're using the internet right now, I hate to break it to you, you are not the perfect zero waster nor am I. We are all trying, we are all on a journey together and to those people who feel like other people are just getting on the climate bandwagon because it's a fad, who cares? Who actually cares why they're on Instagram promoting their new coffee cup? Who actually cares? The fact is that they are no longer purchasing single-use coffee cups. So congratulations to that person. Kudos to them, props to them, credit where credit is due. I feel like as a society, we miss the point a lot of the time. The point is the person is trying. And I think it's time that we focus on the fact that if a single person makes one small change, that is still a huge impact in the grand scheme of things. I think a lot of the time we are forgetting about the power of people and the power of persuasion and the power of consumerism. Supply and demand are what drives the economy. If we are reducing our consumption, if one less household eats one less meat dish per week, all of this adds up. People have power, people have the ability to change the system, but I just want you to remember that when somebody makes you feel bad for a choice that you've made, but let's try and move on and try and just gain a little bit more perspective and a little bit more understanding for other people and their situation and also their position on the journey because we have to remember that there are people out there who might be incredible zero wasters and incredibly climate friendly and they are completely self-sustainable in their own home and then there are some people who are on that journey like i am and then there are other people who have never even considered this kind of lifestyle and you have to remember that when you are replying to somebody or when you have something to say to another person you do not know where they're at in their journey and again it applies to all areas of life just think before you speak think about how it would make you feel if somebody spoke to you like that and I will leave it there. Thank you for listening to my rant. If you've experienced similar things, then please let me know in the comment section down below. And the last thing I'll say is if you like the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you don't mind listening to me rant some more about green shaming, then please do hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.